All right, everyone. Today we're going full kit in Iron Banana with a build that'll not only frustrate guardians alike, but can also be effective in endgame content too. So if you have all the gear but no idea, you're in the right place. Subscribe if you're new, hit like too, and let's get into it. This build is all centred around the new Titan Exotic Gauntlet's Icefall Mantle. Glacial Guard is the intrinsic perk, whereby your barricade class ability is replaced by a personal overshield. On activation, it slows nearby combatants, as well as yourself and your barricade does not recharge whilst you have the overshield. Basically, you get an overshield for 20 seconds, but you can't sprint or jump, turning you into a somewhat slow moving tank. You can grab this new Beyond Light exotic by completing the new Legend or Master Lost sectors. It's a unique exotic that plays nicely into this unique build, so we're going to pair it with another exotic, Sweet Business. You could say that this exotic combo is the Titan equivalent of the Warlocks, Fawn and Necrotic one, but I'd be lying. Seriously though, they kind of are a match made in Ice Heaven. This exotic auto rifle comes with a huge magazine, and you can get the most out of it with an insane time to kill thanks to its business time perk, increasing its rate of fire and range. Payday will also auto reload the weapon on ammo pickup, plus it has increased hip fire accuracy. It's a monster in the right hands, and as you'll be a slow icy moving tank, it fits right into the sweet business playstyle. Chuck on sustained charge as well as high energy fire to increase its damage dealing potential. Top Tree Sentinel also plays into this tank build, as with anybody close enough you can punch them with the defensive strike melee for even more overshield plus health regen and a boost to reload speed too. The Ward of Dawn Super will also melt your opponent's faces off. Leaning further into the full kit banner, we're packing Felwinter's Life for close quarters action and Shining Spear because rockets. You'll 100% want to stack high resilience build for the max barricade cooldown. Iron Banner gear tends to offer this often when turning in tokens, but resilience mods can fill in any gaps. Powerful friends and Radiant Light will help with mobility and melee cooldown too. Stacks on stacks or supercharge can also help for making the most of high energy fire too. Don't forget you can enhance the build further with the Overload Auto Rifle Champion mod and the Unstoppable Shotgun mod too for Nightfalls, Empire Hunts or Lost Sectors. This is a fun little build that plays into the lack of mobility provided by Icefall Mantle. Hopefully you found this quick build guide helpful. If you've got any other suggestions, let me know. Also, please subscribe if you're new and give this a rating too. That's it for this one though, so on that and as always, thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you next time.